Hey y'all, coming at you from my craft room. Here is my dumb painting area. Look at all those paint gems. I need to show you guys my paint gem haul eventually. Anyway, I have something really fun for you guys. Um, can you see? Diamond Art Club Amazon haul. So let's unbox these. There's one I am very particularly excited about and I'm so excited to show you. Alright, I know this is kind of close up, but my camera setup is still kind of wacky. Wacky? Wacky? Weird? Uh, I don't know what I was trying to say there, <laughs> but okay, so, oh, you kind of saw that one. Um, that's okay. You're going to all open that one first. I do have five kits right here. You can see I have one, two, three, four, five all round. These are the Amazon kits, like I said, and I'm not going to open this one. So really, I'm opening four for you, and then this one is going to be, you'll see in a later video, because I have a really cool, fun project I want to do with this, and I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and crack open the first one and see what that... All right, so for this smallest one, I am so excited for this. I've been looking forward to having this one for a really long time. I don't think it's been available on Diamond Art Club, and then I didn't get out of a restock, and then it wasn't until later that I realized you can get it off of Amazon, which is really cool. It's not always available on there, but... Yeah, so this is a Unicorn Rainbow, and it's one of my favorite artists, and it's Pixie Sticks, and it's really cool. She actually is the one who also charts all the specials in Diamond Art Club, like all of the specials that are charted. This is her. Her name is Kate, and she goes by Pixie Sticks, and she actually has a YouTube channel called Diamonds and Dr. Pepper. It's awesome. She's great. And then uh, also, she does have another YouTube channel that she shows how she works on a few of her other paintings. She does Clementine on there. Sorry, I got a text. I got distracted. Um, but she has Clementine and she shows her artwork and how she did the artwork for Clementine. So it's just really cool, her setup and everything. So let's go ahead and pop this. All right, so um, what we have here is actually an older toolkit. And I think they do that because in the especially small kit, the other trays don't fit in there i believe is why so um i'm just gonna briefly go over the toolkits if it's different then i'll show you the different one otherwise i won't go over them otherwise did you say otherwise twice oh um there are a lot of bags for this one i think you could probably kit this whole thing up in the bags like that seems more than usual anyway tray baggies heart waxes but not a heart wax container that's must have been one of the new ones I wasn't around when they switched to the new ones, but it looks like in some of these they still have the old toolkit. So, multi-placer, pen, squishy, and that's it. And we have this insurance card. This is the warranty insurance card, so you do need to hang on to that because if you ever run out of colors or miss drop drills or something like that, if you still want the warranty, you have to go and register on the site. So I will hang on to that before I put these away. And then we have the step-by-step -step instructions. I'm not going to go over that. I mean, if you want to see it, it's in so many other videos. I'm not one to go through all of it. Uh, but yeah, if this is your first one, finish this video up and then go on and check out somebody else's video who's done a sneak peek. Because they will go through all of that. And that's just the same step-by-step -step instructions that's in every kit. <clears throat> so here is the small sticker you can put on the end. I never use these for that. I actually hang on to them and stick them in my log book. My, the big sticker is what I stick in the log book, and then I hang on to these. I have a plan for them. Well, I want to have a plan for them. I don't know what yet, but I'm hanging on to them in the meantime. So it is a round kit. It is a 23 by 23, a whopping 23 by 23. It is tiny. I think that's my smallest diamond art club. So if we open this up, we can see we have 24 colors. And gosh, this is gorgeous. I'm so excited to try out these colors because look at these. Um, I am going to open these. For the sake of time, I won't go over all of these colors, but I am just going to kind of show you. I do believe there are two ABs in here, but no fairy dust. So there's the one AB. That's a 141. That is a white color. I bet it was so fun for Kate to chart her own 
specials in her diamond painting. And here is the second one. It is the yellow. 129 and 141 are very common in Diamond Art Club specials because they do a lot of the highlighting. So let's check this out. We'll look at where the specials go to. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, that's so darn cute. <laughs> wow. I love it. You know, I'm not like that huge of a unicorn person. I've always liked unicorns. But this is like, for diamond painting, it does seem like I've been gravitating towards the unicorns and foxes. And I mean, everything else I already like. But um, yeah, definitely like unicorns I like as diamond paintings more than I like just in general. Like I'm not that big of a unicorn person, but in diamond paintings, I love it. And I think what it is is the colors. There's always like a lot of really nice pastel colors, which are what I love to do. So especially diamond painting. Um, let's see. Specials. Let's go and pop those open. Really, these kits are so small. It's probably not a big big deal to get them out. But this special right here, it's 129. That creamy buttery yellow is going to be the number one right here and you're gonna see it there and there you're just gonna see it in these sparkles and that's where it is here 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 it's gonna be very special I think I probably will take some special um I have a lot of crystal diamonds and I think I'll do something with that maybe like make her eyes crystal or something and then the other AB is this 141 this white AB and it is the number two so you're gonna see it in her eyes actually that can't be it. Oh, okay. There's some of these sparkles that are over here. Oh, that's all. I mean, not that that's like a huge deal or anything, but I just, there's a lot of them. So you're going to have a lot left over. That's quite a few for just a few different spots. So Diamond Art Club is really good at giving you plenty and all you need. So I'm not going to go over symbols and these small kits. You're really not going to usually run into symbol issues or anything like that. Um, there's going to be a ton of color blocking this one. I think it'll go really quickly. Not that I'm up. In fact, sometimes when there's so much color blocking like this to make the kit last longer, I will actually slow down and single place a bunch of it. Uh, especially when there's a color I really love. And I, there's a lot of colors in here I really love. Um, I have some metallic red that I would love to put into that heart. How fun would that be to put that metallic red in there? And then I also have some green crystal I think I'd like to put in her eyes. And I'm learning from one of my from one of my kits that I'm doing, which I went crazy over, that some kits less is more <laughs> when it comes to changing up because then the changes really stick out better. Sorry, I know there's that plastic in the back. I should probably do this after. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. I, I'm thinking, yeah, just a little bit of, I have these two different greens. And I think I'll put crystal in her eyes. Metallic in her heart right here. And I think that's like perfect. <laughs> she does have a little bit in her, maybe I could put a little bit of sparkle. I have some fairy dust that might look really cool as like the sparkle in her her nose and her cheeks, that would look really cute. And then I just leave it be. I want to do there. Okay, let's look at the next. Ooh, first, let me zoom in. I want to show you those red metallics that I want to put here. How fun would that be? Can you see these metallics? That would be so much fun to put there. <laughs> I love it. All right, before we continue, I wanted to say that at, I'm going to put all the pan overs at the very end of the video. And that's because my setup is so bad that it really messes with it every time I take the phone out or put it back in, in the little case thing. So uh, yeah, you'll see a pan over. I'll go over a pan over all of them at the very end because I take it out and do it by hand. So this is the next one. And guys, this was not even on my radar until I saw diamonds and washi open this. And then I saw it and saw the colors and I was like, mm, yeah, <laughs> I love it. And interestingly enough, this is dragons and beasties. And I do have another one of hers. It's this Fiona Butterfly Dragon or something like that. And it was one that I wasn't sure if I was going to keep or not. And you guys actually put a poll on to de-stash it. It was really, really close. But then my daughter saw it. She liked it to begin with. But 
it wasn't technically hers but then she saw it and she's like mom don't get rid of it I'll take it and so I kind of feel bad because I asked for your guys' opinion but I did take your opinion into account on the Hannah Lynn and the magical what is it well I can see right here ah the fantastical forest and I will be keeping those based off your guys' opinion and I can't say I'm mad at all <laughs> I do love those so <clears throat> I probably won't be de-stashing the other one just because my daughter loves it. So, but Sophia, I got this one because that one came in the mystery box. I wasn't planning on having that one. This one I did because, oh my gosh, the colors in this. And I think the background is not going to be bad at all because uh, I don't usually like color blocking background. But yeah, I like this one. All right, this one is significantly bigger. Let me see if I can zoom out even further. Nope, <laughs> this one's significantly bigger than the unicorn one. So, uh, hopefully I can get the whole thing in. Usually I'd be at my kitchen counter, but it's just not going to work out tonight. So, that's okay. And I figured with these smaller ones I could use my desk, which I can, but um, it's going to be a little tight. So, here is the warranty sheet. I'm going to put that over here. Keep that for later, just in case. Um, oh my gosh, I already see an incredible color right there. <laughs> Look at this color palette, guys. It's so gorgeous. Okay, the... Tool for this is different, so I always do that. Did you know you can just open it? <laughs> but whatever, I don't keep those because I actually put everything all together. Take the tool kits out and put everything all together. Oh my gosh, I do have this one already, but it's interesting because they're always just a little bit different, like real flowers. They're a little bit different from each other and they're not all the same. So that's really cool. Um, a washi tape, I haven't seen that one before and it matches so perfectly, it's crazy. That is really cool. And, of course, the diamond, or I mean the diamond pen and the pretty much everything else. We're not going to go through it. You guys have been there, but it is the newer kit. So, just thought that was interesting. I am, I think, I don't know if it's because of the size, which I'm kind of guessing it is, um, or because it's a newer kit. But I'm thinking it's because of the size. It's It's bigger. Okay, so this is the small sticker. It is a 32 by 47, so quite a bit bigger. Sorry, bump you guys. I think this is the biggest kit out of these smaller ones, I believe. And you'll save that right there. And let's check out these drills really fast. Um, like I said, I'm not going to open them all the way. Holy cow, these are incredible. You know what's interesting? I'm pretty sure those are the same color, but one is these one is a fairy dust right here. Can you see this fairy dust? Z162. And the other two are the regular 747 drill. So that's kind of cool. It might be slightly different. Yeah, it's a slight difference, but it's, it's mostly the same. And um, there's these right here. 600 is a new color. Look at that. That is a really cool color they came up with. Wow. Alright, I'm trying to show you without unfolding the whole thing. Let me bring it over here so you can at least see it while I'm doing this. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any other 600s. You have this, oh, I thought that was an AB. All these are so shiny that I think, oh, here we go. There's an AB. That's the 126 right there. That is so gorgeous. I haven't seen that AB yet, and I haven't seen that fairy dust yet. And here's another AB right here, 127. I have seen that one. That is gorgeous. I am trying to remember what I've seen that one in. I think it's the kit I'm working on. Oh, no, I know. I have the equivalent in diamond dots. That peachy one. It might not be exact then. Okay, I think that's all for the specials. What I like about these small kits is there's a lot of, like, room to clean up. Oh, my gosh. She's so cute. <laughs> Let me see if I can pull back a little bit. Not messing with everything. Um, if you can see by the legend over there, it is 24 colors, two ABs, and one fairy dust. So yeah, right about that. Please don't die on me. <laughs> okay, so um, what's cool about this too is because it's kind of a newer kit, is you're gonna get that perforated cover. I don't know if you can see that okay. Yeah, you can kind of see it behind my fingers where you can Pull it apart and you can have a much better sectioning spot and i absolutely adore this i think this is so much fun i also really like that the background is not 
full color blocking. Like, if this was all one color, I would not have purchased this. But it's not. It's different colors, and I appreciate that. Okay, so let's look at the specials here. Um, the first one is this one. It's the 126, and then the next one is the 127 right next to each other. So let's look that up. The 126 is that peach. No, sorry. It's not the peach one. It was the kind of ma purpley mauve color right there. Their drills are so amazing. So that is number one. That is going to be right here. All up here. This whole splotchy area right here. In right here in her, what would you call those? Like scale things? I don't know. I don't know my dragons. <laughs> I love fantasy books with dragons in them, but I don't know the spiky stuff that comes off of dragons. And this one, it looks more like feathers. She's so cute. She's like adorable. So there's that one. Um, I'm surprised there's not a white AB. That's really interesting. Uh, I might, I have some white fairy dust I might stick in here somewhere. Um, but I feel like it's also not necessary because these whites are so bright. So let's see, let's look at number three. Oh, not number three. I'm looking for number two. And number two was this peachy one. It looks a little orange on camera. It's peach. And that one is going to be also in the feathers-like stuff on the dragon. Pretty much anywhere you see these sticking out, that's where you're going to find them. And then the last one is this beautiful fairy dust for cow. I absolutely adore this fairy dust color. And that is going to be the dash symbol. That's all over in this background here. Her whole body is like fairy dust. There's a lot of that fairy dust, but you can see it all in the highlighting of her body before that white lighter color um, is going to be the fairy dust. And then there's a lot of it down here in the bottom, right here and right there. All right, guys, that is Sophia by Dragons and Beasties. And I'm really excited for that one. Wow, that one's gorgeous. I have to do that sometime this year. I don't, I think she's my only dragon besides the other dragons and beasties that I have. Because I just de-stashed dragon with a flagon. So that's kind of cool. Um, and yeah, that's really fun. I have to get her done this year sometime because it's the year of the dragon, right? All right, let's, I'm going to pause here and get the next kit. All right, this next one is Bed of Roses. <laughs> Guys, I saw this one and had to. And I'm pretty sure the background is probably, I'm trying to bring it up close. Uh, is that too close? That's a little too close. <laughs> um, the background I don't think is full color blocking, but it's also only 30 by two by 32. There's some color blocking back there. I'm okay with that. It's just the one that's the huge one and it's a massive amount of color blocking. So Bed of Roses, and this is Mary Line Casanave, Casanave, and I have not even seen anything else by her. I'm not sure. I don't know much about this artist, but I'm really excited. I think that is adorable. I love the colors, first off. Absolutely adore those colors, and I love, adore cats, and I love flowers, and everything about that. This is actually our wedding colors, which is really cool. Mint green, and cream, and, um, like a peachy color. So I just love that. Everything about this is amazing. All right, this one is also another fairly recent release. I think I opened it the right way this time. And let's go ahead and see what we have here. Uh, I thought that'd be more. There you go. Oh, I love this one. You know what? This other one right here would work perfect for this. Oh, maybe it's the wrong kind of paint. No, it'll work. This is perfect for this kit doesn't matter. I'm going to put them separately. But I don't have this red one yet, and I love that one. Wow. I have, I think my ro the, ro oh! <laughs> the roses are my favorite of these cover minders. I can put all that away later. This is the... the uh, wow, they are like matching these fairly well. Eh, maybe not that one so much. <laughs> but that one is also a new one that I have not seen yet. That's gorgeous. So I wonder if they're changing up their washi tapes. And then just the usual, guys. I can go over it. 
Okay, let's go ahead and we have the warranty. I'm gonna hang on to that so I can get that warranty. Doo -doo -doo. We have our, what is this called again? <laughs> it's just like the thank you, it's like the pamphlet. There we go, thank you pamphlet. Also, sometimes you can find, yeah, thank you 10 down there if you want 10% off your next purchase. Feel free to use that one. But there are actually better ones out there. Um, if you if you have gotten anything from Diamond Art Club before, you can be part of the VIP group on Facebook. And they head on down there. I'm not sure what I'm allowed to say about it. But hint, hint, you can get a discount. So, hey, by the way, if you are liking this kind of video and if you're liking my content and if you, hey, if you like me a little bit, <laughs> go ahead and like this video. That really helps me with the algorithm. It gets my videos out there. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content, and by the end of this video, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to find out when this next video is supposed to come out, because it's I'm going to be doing something really cool. So, um, this is Bed of Roses. It's 32 by 32. I think I already said that. Here is the sticker sheet, which there's more colors on this. That surprises me. I thought the other two would have more colors, but I guess there's probably a lot of different colors in the cap for the shading. <clears throat> but yeah, there's 29 colors in this. I am loving, loving this color palette. Wow. I I mean, obviously they're my wedding colors, so I, I do love it. We have one AB there, and we have two fairy dust colors, so that's going to be fun. Let's check that out. Ooh, a little rogue drill here, or rogue bag, I should say. So let's check, oh gosh, look at these. You know, this is pinker than it's showing up. It's showing up orange. It's definitely very pink. And you know what? I know this color. This was in my Witch's Flower Shop for Diamond Art Club that I finished recently by Mrs. Buttered or Mrs. Buttered D. Um, anyway, that's, that's, that's really, I love that color. There's actually quite a few of the colors in here that were in there too. I like this kind of color palette. You know, when I first got that from Mrs. Buttered D, I was like, ah. I might, this might be a struggle with the color palette, but it wasn't at all. Guys, if you're on the fence about that one, it's amazing. And I actually think it's out of stock now, but when it gets back into stock, um, she, Mrs. Butter D actually commented on my post review on that one, saying that people didn't really seem to like that color palette, but guys, it, it was amazing. Like, don't let that stop you. Her artwork is amazing, and yeah, that was an amazing, amazing kit to work on. Okay, so 127, there's not much of that one, so I'm guessing there's not going to be <laughs> very many spots with that. Um, trying to find the others without unraveling, but I think I spotted... <gasps> oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. There's the fairy dust, the Z369. Yep, it is the 369. I believe that's the same that's in the Satura kit that looks like sea glass. It doesn't look like sea glass so much in the round as it does with the sharp edges of the square, but still absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and look, the next fairy dust is right next to it. Z3856. That one's a little more subtle than the green one. Gorgeous. Both are gorgeous. Not a lot of any of those. Let me show you kind of the color palette in general here. You get an idea. The greens and the peaches. And, oh my gosh, I'm going to love this. I better not lose that one. Let's go ahead and flip her over. It is, I did notice it's a little bit tougher to get these smaller ones to lie flat. But eventually they will, because it's the Diamond Art Club and they always eventually lie flat. Oh, so cute. And I do, the background is not color blocked, so I really appreciate that. I can handle that color blocking. I can handle it. Um. It's almost just the look of it all being color blocked, even, not even just having to color block things. So yeah, there's some color blocking, but it's not any big deal. It will go quickly, and there's nothing wrong with having a kit go a little bit quicker. Look how adorable this sleepy kitten is. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, and these roses are amazing too. Interestingly enough, this is very similar to Mrs. Butter D, with the way that the roses are and the the leaves are worth and were with that one also i love the little box she's sleeping in i just love mint greens too 
trying to think how would I maybe want to change this one up I I think the fairy dust let's actually look at where all these go first and then I'll decide that because it may be that they're already blinged up where I want it to be so that first AB which was right where did I, did I lose it I'm gonna start with fairy dust oh no here it is that first AB that peachy AB that is gonna be the number one and you are seeing it in the bow and only in the bow. So that makes sense. Just playing up that bow. That I was kind of thinking the same thing. And I might have a really pretty metallic to go around the outside. I love bows that have a metallic outside and I think that'd be really cool. But I don't know if that would distract too much from the cat. So we'll see. Um, let's see, we have the Sea Glass one Z369. And that is going to be this equal sign right there and it kind of oh yeah it's in this beautiful part of the box gosh that's gonna be gorgeous and a little bit here and sorry guys for my hands being completely beat up by the way that i we made some flower beds these flower bed gardens and it did a number to my hands i don't know why that's showing up so yellow it's not yellow it's very much i mean it has a yellow undertone but it's very much a orangey peachy but let's see, that one is this divided by sign. We're talking math here for the fairy dust. Do they always do that? No, they don't. Okay, so that is in the cat. So you're going to have some highlights in the cat. It's just going to be beautiful. Beautiful little kitten. Um, What would I maybe highlight more in here? I don't know. I think that with this one, subtlety is kind of important. I don't know that I would do much more. Like I was thinking outlining this with metallics, but maybe crystals instead. Maybe like a lavender crystal, which I have. But at the same time, I think this one might be the kind that less is more. Yeah, we'll see when I get to it. You guys will eventually see that. Eventually this one will be done on my channel. So let's go ahead and put this. Oh, I did forget to say, did I forget to say? This one is newer, so it comes with a perforated cover as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, I know I'm not like doing the full canvas tour or the stickiness of the glue. I think that... If you want to see that, to go see an individual one, because like an individual unboxing, which I also do on my channel as well, or someone else's channel, because especially the sneak peeks, they really go into depth on those. But I feel like haul videos, usually if you're watching a haul video, you've seen this, been there, done that, on a lot of these. So yeah, okay, let's go ahead and go to the next. All right, this is the last one I will be unboxing on this one um, because, but the other one I'm going to show you uh, just to show you what it is to kind of give you a hint of what my later video is going to be. So, um, yes, Arctic Fox, but this is Rita Konya. And I love, I love the witches that she does. She does um, one of my unicorns. It's also a lot of other people's unicorns. It is Luna Moth Witch. Maybe I'll pop that up here so you can see. There we go. And she does, there's another one that is high on my wish list. I haven't purchased yet. It just never quite gets to the purchase point, right? And that's, um, oh, I forget it. But it's the one she's sitting on the stairs and it has the Halloween and with the jack-o'-lanterns along the stairs. And oh my gosh, I absolutely adore that one. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. It is around, all of these are around. Most of those smaller ones you're going to get from Amazon Prime is, or, or Amazon is round. I think there's only one I've seen that's square, but maybe. Let's check this out. All right. I love opening up these new tool, these tool kits with the cover reminders and everything in it. Because you never know what you're going to get. Oh, I do have a million of these tulips. They are cute. And a new washi tape. Again, I don't have this one. Um, bags. Heart wax. Ugh, saying it as I'm putting in squishy extras, tray, and pen. Ooh, there we go. Put that off to the side. Remember to do the warranty. We'll do that when I get a second. And then the pamphlet. Here is the sticker sheet. 
I'm sorry, this is just a small sticker. This is a sticker sheet. 31 colors. I was not expecting that at all. Although I have seen this open, I just forgot. <laughs> this one has three AVs and one fairy dust. Also, something really special I'm going to do with this one is if you get on DP with Sparkles, Sparklers, they have that's Diamond Painting with Sparklers, and that, her name is T Mom. And if you've seen any other videos in my channel, you've probably seen me have the metallics. I just showed you one earlier. That's from DP with Sparklers. And they have enhancement kits so you can order them and you'll get in these extra drills and they hand chart even more enhancements to these which is really cool so um i am i'm going to do that with this eventually not right the second <laughs> i'm not going to order anytime soon but i will be doing it with this one because i think that that would be fun plus they give you a full bag of them like they don't just give you enough for the kit they give you a full bag of what they would normally give out when you buy the those special drills individually, which you can do, by the way. And then, um, but they also give you the, uh, yeah, the full bag enough so you can use it for other things after that and have plenty left over. So that's really cool. I am loving this color palette right here. It's so different from the other ones that I've shown you, which are all very pastel-y and which I love. <laughs> I obviously have a lot of those and I like them, but I love a change too. And I really like this. And if you've been following me, you know I love these foxes. I love foxes anyway, but for some reason, diamond paintings, I just adore them. So let's check this out. Let's flip it over. It's also a little big. It's going to be sideways. Hope that's okay. Oh my gosh, look how cute he is. I don't know why he's a he, but he is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's check out. We have... Lots of 939, at least for this, this kit. I'm guessing that's all those dashes right there. Which is not that color blocky. It's going to be plenty. It's going to be like a lot of line blocking. And with these other colors in between. Which I'm noticing those stars are not a specials color. And I know with the enhancement kit, with the those little sparkle stars, the enhancement kits, those are sparkly. So, or they, they add another one for, for these stars. So I, I'm excited about that. Let's see, we have right here, spoke too soon. We've got the three of these, right? Yeah. How have I not run into any of them yet? Okay, there's one of them right there. There's a 140. And I'm just going to show those to you where they are right now. The 140 is the three. And it is in this plant. It's kind of this lighter inner part. And it looks like that's it. Oh, there's one in each of the eyes to kind of give the eyes a little bit of oomph. Okay, and then let's look for, there's that fairy dust. Right there, Z959. That is a gorgeous fairy dust. I haven't seen that one before. And that's going to be this T symbol right here. And I'm seeing that in this plant on the inside. So same thing as the other one, but on the inside of this tease right here lots of the plants and then we should have one more two more that's just one fairy dust right yeah we should have two more of these uh 117 oh that's an interesting very light beigey tan it's almost like a grayish it's actually like the same color we painted our trim at our last house so i obviously love that color gorgeous 117 and that's going to be the number one and we're going to see that in the in the highlights on the fox. So this lighter color that you see here and here. And then we have... How did I miss that last baby? There's another one here. 117. They're so shiny. Sometimes it's hard to find the A piece. Okay. I, I see why I'm so confused. These two are so similar. Let me show you. They are so similar in color. I mean, one's darker. This uh, 140 is darker than the 120. But when you're looking at them sideways like that, they're, they're similar enough that it kind of uh, throws you. So that is also going to be right over here. That's the two. Dang it, I gotta put that all back together. You're gonna see that over here in this plant in the highlights in this plant over. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> Sorry. Over here. And I don't have, that's all I believe. Oh, right here too. 
I don't have the DP with Sparklers enhancement kit, but I do know that these fours, um, they put, I think either ABs or Spark, I think they put ABs or fairy dust like things. And um, here, and I believe they do the same thing around the nose and up here. And I think that these H's right here for the whiskers, I forget, but whatever it is, it looks really cool. Um, and then the stars. They redo the stars for you so that there's actually some in the stars too. Um, I think it's cool the way that the plants and the original is highlighted. And then just a little bit in the fox. I think that's really cool. It almost looks like you're shining a light at the fox. And it just freezes and looks at it. I, I really like that idea. So I really like it. I, I do really want to try one of these enhancement kits. And this is actually the one that is, so if you want to try anything out, get this one. And I believe it's only $11, $12 for the enhancement. So, which is not bad at all. I, and especially since they give you the full bags of them. And um, you'll see I'm actually going to get the enhancement kit for the next one. So let's move over to that and check it out. Okay, so last one. And I am not going to unbox it. And I'm going to show you why. Because if you can see here, I've got a bigger one here. And this is, let me get this up so I can reveal it at the same time. Ooh, look at that. Guys, I did not know when this one was going to come back out. And I had ordered it. And then for some reason, I seriously can't even remember why. Either they ran out or something or something in that order ran out. I don't even remember except that I, I don't know why it's shaking. Sorry. Stop shaking. Stop it. <laughs> but I had ordered it and somehow fell through. I never got it. And this is my number one, not unicorn because I feel like those are ones that are going to be really, really hard to get. And this I knew was going to come back in stock at some point. And it did. It is beautiful. I love the stained glass. I, I love all of Peggy Con stuff. I wouldn't all diamond paint all of Peggy Con stuff, but this, it's so perfect. I just, I mean, oh, I, ha I have a lot of really favorite kits that I love. But this and Hydrangea Bird Garden are probably my top favorite that I own. I should do a video about that. My top favorite that I own, like top five. <laughs> of ones that I haven't completed yet or something. Um, I, that's what I mean by haven't completed because I have Satur and I also love that one. And yeah, so this is one I am so excited to have. And then this one, I want them to be companion pieces. This is just so cool, like to put in a room together. Why is it shaking so bad? Oh my gosh, hold on a second. Maybe if I don't have it connected to the, there you go. Okay, whatever. It's going to shake a little, guys. Sorry. So, um, but speaking of enhancement kits, DP with Sparklers does have an enhancement kit for this one, but not for this one. So what I want to do is get the enhancement kit for this. And once again, since it's small, it's, I think, 22. So um, I don't know why. It's about the same size as this box one, but I think this one just has a lot more enhancements, so that's why it's more expensive. But I have seen the enhancements on there, and I'm like, oh, heck, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm doing. These two are together. I just, just so you know, I just finished explaining what I'm going to do, but I'm not, I erased the whole thing because I want to make it its own video and make it its own thing. And I think it's going to be awesome, but just know these two are going to be companion pieces and I have plans for this. <laughs> so, okay guys, that's it. Um, I love, absolutely love and adore all the ones that we got and love having these snack size that are also diamond art club because a lot of my snack size ones that are like one kit that's like a big size kit not big size but like not paint gems because I absolutely adore paint gems too but a lot of those are my budget friendly ones and a lot of those I can't show on this channel because I got them before I realized you know legally licensing stuff and they're just not very good quality compared to Diamond Art Club. So I love having the smaller kits that are going to be awesome for um, just sticking in here or there that would be fun or to take places, but not have to compromise on quality or licensing. So I really like that. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, please make sure to hit that like button if you watch, especially to the end of this video. If you, will you put your favorite kit down? So if you liked this one the most, I know we didn't un box it but I think you can get a general idea of which one you might like the most um put a flower if you liked the dragon put a dragon 
cat, cat, uh, fox, fox. <laughs> Is there a fox emoji on there? I don't even know. And then what was the other one? Um, oh, unicorn. Uh, put unicorn up there. So I'd love to know which one was your favorite kit. And stick around for the pan over because we're going to pan over each and every one of these with music. And then it's just going to do the outro. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.